welcome back to my channel i'm chris and here we talk about business candle making and how to boss up and in today's video i'm gonna be trying a brand new wax a wax that i've never tried before personally but one i've been meaning to try for a while now if you have been following me for a while you know i notoriously use golden wax 464 wax in today's video i'm gonna be trying golden wax 444 wax and I hope you enjoy. So let's get into it. I wanted to try a new wax just to experiment. I wanted to see if there were any major differences between Golden Wax 444 and Golden Wax 464 to consider maybe trying a new blend for my candles. Ultimately, I wanted to weigh out the pros and the cons of each because I eventually want to expand my business and I don't want to sell myself short by just sticking to one thing. And after doing some research, here's what I found. Up front, one of the main differences that I noticed is that 444 wax has a slightly higher melt point than 464. 444's melt point is between 119 degrees and 125 degrees, which means it'll probably help my overall burn time and last a slightly longer amount of time than 464 wax. First, what I'm gonna do is measure out my wax. This is what I would do in any scenario, just to make sure that the amount of wax I can monitor compared to the fragrance oil that I'm going to be adding. I'm going to be adding 10 ounces. Making sure that I write down everything that I'm doing is super important because I've never worked with this wax before and I want to make sure that I document what I'm doing so that if I like how this candle turns out, I can replicate it and I don't have to go through the testing process all over again. So what I like to do is get some painter's tape and a marker and write down the exact steps that I'm going to take just to make sure that it's documented and it doesn't get confused with any of the other candles that I have in my office. One of the main differences that I've noticed with 444 wax is that the wax is so much brighter and whiter than 464, which in my opinion is a plus. I love a bright white candle. So I'm thinking I might make the transition or incorporate some 444 wax in my candle making process. Recommended wicks for 444 and 464 wax is CD Wicks and Eco Wicks. I prefer CD Wicks, so that's what I'm gonna be using. I was thinking about using a wooden wick, but I decided I didn't wanna try everything new. Prepping your wicks will save you a bunch of time, but as you can see here, I didn't do that. Pre-adding your wick stickers will help when you want to make candles with ease so that you don't have to struggle like me by adding each individual wick when you're ready. So while I have prepped my candle jars i'm going to melt my wax the best temperature to heat your wax to will be 190 degrees once it's been heated to 190 degrees you're going to bring it back and watch it drop in temperature by 10 degrees 180 degrees is the best temperature to add your fragrance oil based on the research that i've done so i'm going to let it cool and then i'm going to come back to add my fragrance oil and prep my jars So now that our wax is cooled, we're gonna stir it up, you know, make sure that it's perfect in temperature. And then we're gonna take our fragrance oil and we're gonna take our scale and make sure that we measure it to 10%. That's what I usually make my candles. That's what, that's the usual percentage that I usually add my fragrance oil at. And so this candle will be no different. So I'm measuring it out to one ounce. I 
I'm gonna stir that in for a cool little minute until it looks like it's been evenly distributed and I'm, let it, I'm gonna let it sit for another minute or so until it drops another 10 degrees. And then I'm gonna be pouring it into my jar. While I'm letting it sit, I'm going to clean off my jar with some rubbing alcohol to make sure that there's to make sure that there's no debris at the bottom of the jar and so that I get the best adhesion when I put my wicks on. So much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye you